my creative critters and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and today I just wanted to share a really quick drawing I did of something that I'm calling a snake horn. I was thinking about merging an animal and a food and I was brainstorming animal names that sound like food names and the snake horn was born. I use this as an excuse to try out some more textured brushes that I've never used before in Procreate. And if you know my digital art, you know that I love my clean, crispy lines and coloring. I do end up caving and adding some crisp line art to it, but the main goal for this little sketch was to really try and get outside of my comfort zone and use more textured brushes. I will say I really love sketching with the more sketchy brushes, go figure. I just really loved using that pencil tilt when I was doing the initial sketching. Anyway, since I am drawing a snake, I'm gonna share some cool things that you might not know about snakes. This time lapse from Procreate is really short, so I'll try to stretch it out as best I can without it being too choppy, but I won't be able to cover everything that I wanna talk about snakes, so if you're interested in learning more, about snakes, let me know in the comments. I can definitely make a dedicated snake video. I just love snakes, so just ask me and I'll do it for you. Anyway, the first thing I have to say about snakes is that there are so many types of snakes. According to the latest count, there are 3,789 snake species, making them the second largest group of reptiles after lizards. They are divided into 30 different families and numerous subfamilies, and guess where a lot of snakes call home? Australia. I'm not surprised, are you? Australia is home to approximately 140 different species of snakes. The article I'm using for this info, which by the way, all of my sources are always linked in my description, so you can do your own research and learn more about snakes and read about what I don't cover here. But anyway, like I was saying, the article that I found calls reptiles quote-unquote solar-powered, and I think that is such a more accurate description of reptiles because they really do rely on the sun and the environment to regulate their temperature. So snakes are no different, and the technical term is ectothermic, which means their body temperature is variable and regulated by external sources. Also, something I didn't know is that not not all snakes lay eggs. Now approximately 70% of snakes lay eggs, but the others don't. Snakes living in especially colder climates have live births because the eggs wouldn't survive outside in such extreme temperatures. Nature is so smart, I swear. It's like how kangaroos can delay giving birth and wait for the right conditions. Like, kangaroos and other wallabies really said, nah, not today. And then they just delay giving birth. If you want a video on kangaroos themselves and you want to learn a bunch of cool things about them, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to make a whole video about them. But back to snakes. You may already know this, but snakes smell with their tongues even though they have nostrils. They use their nostrils to breathe in and get oxygen like we do through our nostrils, but they don't smell with them. Instead, they use their forked tongues and multiple receptors to pick up chemical cues to get information about their surroundings. The last thing I wanna talk about is that snakes don't chew their food or even bite their prey. They just straight up swallow it. I mean, I guess technically some venomous snakes have to bite into their prey to kill it with the venom, but as far as having to chew their food, they don't have to do that. They have really flexible lower jaws that allows them to eat animals that are 75 to 100% larger than their own head. So once they slurp up their food, their digestive chemicals take it from there and break it down so they have no reason to chew. So that's all I have time to share about snakes in this video and I hope you learned something or at least maybe enjoyed watching me draw a snake horn. It was a lot of experimenting and I'm not thrilled with the result but as an exercise I enjoyed it and I'm excited to draw him more in the future. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for more art and animal related content. I upload a new video here every Friday and I would love for you to become a creative critter with me and follow along on my YouTube journey. If you made it this far, leave me a comment and let me know any suggestions you have for other animals you want to learn more about or any hybrid animals you want to see me make come to life in a drawing in the future. And or follow me on any of my social media and let's talk about animals. All the links to my socials are in the description, including Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, Twitter, and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative and I'll see you next Friday's video.